Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're here in Los Angeles, California for the don'ts of visiting Hollywood. Because when you're in LA, you gotta come to the Hollywood neighborhood where movie magic is made. And we're here actually outside of the Gauman Chinese Theater, which is where you see all the really cool premieres happening. You can see all the handprints and footprints of famous people. The, the Hollywood Walk of Fame's right outside, so you can walk down and see those stars. But even though there's stars here and there's things you're gonna have a fun time doing in Hollywood, I thought it was good we did the don'ts of visiting Hollywood because there's some things you should know before you come here if you're going to be coming on a trip to LA. And my first don't for you is don't think Hollywood is glitz and glamour. It's more like Hollywood grime than Hollywood glamour when you're here. Whether it's the street performers, whether it's the buildings, whether it's just the overall ambiance of Hollywood in general. It's not, you know, if you're coming from Beverly Hills, it's not the fancy side of things, okay? So just be prepared for that if you do come down here. Now, a big don't I have for you if you are going to be coming here to Hollywood is don't get a picture of the performers, like the street performers, like Spider-Man or Mickey Mouse or whatever, and try not to pay them because you do need to pay them because if you don't, don't be surprised if they track you down and follow you and harass you because that's how they make their money, okay? So don't get the picture unless you do want to pay. And if you do want to get some pictures, don't forget to bring small bills so you can tip them with that. You don't want to give them a 20 and be like, can I get some money back? They'd be like, oh man, I don't have anything. So, so just have a heads up for that one. Now I realize we're here in Hollywood and you probably think, oh, we're going to see movie stars when you're here. Well, my don't for that is don't expect to see too many movie stars when you're here in Hollywood. They're more not in this part uh, hanging out. I was going to say that one right here. Unless you come to a movie premiere, then you might see them on the red carpet. Now, you might see some in passing, but I would not expect that to happen. If you do want to see some of that movie magic, though, what I do recommend is don't forget to do a studio tour. You know, a studio tour like uh, Universal Studios Hollywood, you can do a tour, see the back lot, see some of the sets that are there. But also what's cool is you actually have an amusement park there as well, so you can have a fun time with the family. Um, if you do want to go to a you know, TV set or sit in on a game show or, or a sitcom or something, my next don't for you is don't think that recording that 23 minute sitcom is going to be just 23 minutes of your time. It can take hours, okay? You know, if you want to go see Jimmy Kimmel, there's people that are lined up hours beforehand so they make sure they get a spot. So getting that spot, being in line for it, then sitting while they're doing all the filming, man, let me tell you, a 23 minute TV show takes more than 23 minutes, probably a few hours. So just plan that for your time if you're gonna be doing one of the you know TV filmings. So outside of movie magic, probably the most famous thing you think of when you think of Hollywood is the Hollywood sign. And I'm gonna tell you right now, don't waste your time going up to the Hollywood sign. You'll get plenty of good pictures when you're out on the streets, some place where you can get some good pictures of the Hollywood sign up the Hollywood Hills. But if you see a tour or you wanna go drive up to it, don't think you can get close because you can't, it's kind of blocked off. So you're better off getting your picture from you know a distance away. And hey, I saw the Hollywood sign instead of wasting your time going up there. Now, another don't I have for you is when you're walking on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, um, don't think you're gonna know every single star that's on there. Yes, there's famous actors you'll see, but it's not just actors and actresses. There's writers, there's musicians, there's directors, there's, there's people that maybe made your favorite song, your favorite show. Well, that your star could be on there too. So don't be like, I don't know who that is. Don't worry, there was somebody important in entertainment, so you have that, but don't be like, who's that, who's that? Because it's kind of okay not to know everybody because this has been going on for quite some time. Now, another don't I have for you when you're coming to Hollywood is don't forget that there is more than just the movie studio kind of stuff you can see. Yes, you can actually go see movies when you are here. Like, you can go see movies where the premieres happen. You go to tours. I mean, you can do tours of the Chinese theater. You can go to the museums that are here. There's a Hollywood museum. Yes, there's a bunch of wax museums you can go to here. I don't know if I would recommend them, but it's an option. So there's a lot of that touristy, super touristy, uh, tourist attraction kind of museums. That's here in Hollywood. So if you want to have the Uber over the top tourist stuff, that's going to be here. Another don't I have for you is don't go into the shops that are selling the souvenir Oscars. You're not going to buy one. You're not going to use one. Save your 20 bucks and spend it on something else when you're here. All right. So just have a heads up for it because even it seems like their water's overpriced when you go into those. So go a couple blocks off of Hollywood Boulevard and you'll save yourself a bunch of money. Another don't I have for you, if you're looking to sign up for a tour, look, if they tell you they're going to take you to the homes of the stars, 
don't expect to see the stars and don't expect to see their homes all the time. Now, some of them you will get to see their homes, but a lot of them you'll get to see the gates or the walls outside their house. So just have a heads up for that so you're not disappointed. So just kind of know what you're signing up for. Now, a good don't I have for you is don't forget about West Hollywood, where you have some really cool clubs but amazing restaurants you can go to. So you can eat really well over there. But overall, I hope this helps you know a bit more what to expect when you do come to Hollywood. We have a whole video that's the don'ts of LA that have the much more robust overall feel of the city and the county, which I think is a much more helpful thing to get you started for here. I just want to put one together that after walking around Hollywood gave me some, some tips I thought I should share with you. Anyway, I wish you all the best and whether you're going to see a movie or go to see the Hollywood sign, hope you have a great time here in Hollywood. Bye.